bicyclists are now able to ride in Hawaii's first cycle track on King Street in Honolulu. A cycle track is also known as a protected bike lane that's physically separated from traffic. Now that the King Street cycle track is in use, Hawaii has become the 26th state in the nation to install cycle tracks. Leading up to its debut, the city held community meetings and also a forum to update the public on plans to install the bikeway. So first of all, maybe not everybody's familiar with the, the concept of the cycle track. The King Street cycle track starts near Alapai Street and ends at Eisenberg Street, a major corridor between urban Honolulu and the university area. Since its inception, Mayor Kirk Caldwell has been a strong advocate of the pilot project. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to, I think, increase business for the merchants all along King Street because you're going to have people now biking and driving and walking. If it works, we're going to leave it and make it a little better, put it more permanent infrastructure. If it doesn't work, if people don't ride or it causes congestion, we can always take it out. In order to devote a whole lane to the protected bike lane, the city took away one lane of traffic along King Street. Where the cars used to park is going to become the cycle track. And where the cars are parking, we're going to have bollards like this. We're going to have a berm of asphalt painted white. And we're going to have a space painted with lattice work. So when car doors open, which they will, it's not going to open into where the bikers are. There's going to be that space. And then bikers will be protected by the cars that are parked there. The mayor says the city conducted traffic studies to plan for the project. Where we took away parking during rush hour on the Makai side of King Street. So we took away a lane. It didn't have any significant impact on traf traffic during rush hour. So we think it's going to be okay, but we'll find out, and that's why it's a pilot. During the forum, members of the community also got a chance to ask questions and express their concerns. I think probably the key to making this a successful pilot project is education and specifically in points of potential contact with motorists. So, for example, when uh, the, the um, cycle track is going to be crossing an intersection and there are potentially cars that are turning left, I'm just wondering how you folks are going to get the word out and educate the motorists on how to handle the bicyclists in that kind of situation. Yeah, you're right. We do need to do some education. We have these flyers that we're going to try to distribute, press releases, and out there in the field there's going to be those, those signs, concert reminders. Of course the green paint is going to be something new and different that hopefully will remind people that they need to watch out for bikes at, at those areas. The city says it costs less than $100,000 to install the cycle track. It hopes it will encourage more bicycling as a healthy and clean mode of transportation. However, not everyone is as enthused about the two-mile-long project. As a driver in Honolulu with all the potholes, I would appreciate $100,000 going to fixing the potholes first rather than bicycles uh, first. But under the Complete Streets Ordinance, adopted in 2012, the city is required to balance the needs of all road users, pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorists. Up until now, many cyclists have taken to the sidewalk to avoid the busy traffic on King Street. And this has created some problems for pedestrians. So by providing safe bikeways, many hope this will encourage more bicyclists to ride on the road. In the long run, the city believes if all road users cooperate, the cycle track will be a great benefit for everyone. We all need to set good examples, not just bicyclists, but pedestrians in the corridor and drivers in the corridor. Drivers need to slow down a little bit, be careful, pay attention. Bicyclists do need to follow the rules. Uh, and, and people need to behave in a, in a civil way. And I, I do think that this will be successful, but I think the first few months are going to be crucial uh, to making sure that, that uh, uh, this continues. <laughs> With a Hawaiian Chan and Blessing, construction on the King Street cycle track got underway in September. The cycle track is located on the left side of the roadway to avoid potential interactions with city buses, which stop on the right side of the street. Bicyclists ride in the protected bike lane between the sidewalk and on-street parking. It means bikers can ride safely in a dedicated bike lane and not on the sidewalk. So many bikers ride on our sidewalks on King Street because they don't feel safe on the street. We want them to be safe on the street and allow the sidewalk to be open again for pedestrians. 
It's going to take a lot of pain. <laughs> Along with the mayor, city officials and representatives of the Hawaii Bicycling League gathered to kick off work on the pilot project. So I think I'm going to keep my day job. I know, I think we're going to keep our day job. <laughs> we're painting green in certain areas like we started today where cars are going to be turning left and going Mauka. We call it a conflict zone and we want the car folks to know that when they see green, it means be careful, slow down because there could be bikers coming through. And we want bikers to know when they see green, slow down because cars could be coming through. Everyone slowing down is good for the pedestrians that are also crossing in these conflict zones across these streets. In December, the city celebrated the official opening of the King Street Cycle Track. The cycle track is located on the left side of King Street, next to the Malka sidewalk. On-street parking has been moved into the second lane from the Malka curb. So the protected bike lane is between the Malka curb and on-street parking. The cycle track is 10 feet wide, with an additional 3 foot wide buffer zone between the bikeway and the parked cars. Green paint has been used in driveways and at intersections to remind motorists and bicyclists to use extra caution when merging into those areas. The color green was chosen because it's a federally approved color for bikeways. Only bicyclists are allowed inside the cycle track. No mopeds, skateboarders, or joggers are allowed in the bike lane. While the cycle track was being installed, the city also worked on widening the Civic Center bike path from Alapai Street to Punchbowl Street. Currently, the cycle track is operating as a one-way facility. Bikes heading in the eastbound direction, or Diamond Head, may use the lane. Eventually, by the summer, the city plans to convert it into a two-way facility, allowing cyclists to pedal in both directions in the cycle track. For now, bicyclists heading in the westbound direction, or EVA, will need to ride along Young Street or Baratania Street. It's a pilot. We hope it works. We believe a lot of people will ride. But if for some reason they don't, we can always remove these things. They're not permanent, and we go back to the way it was before. But I think it's going to make a difference. For more information about the King Street Cycle Track, you can visit the city's website. Brochures on the cycle track are available at Satellite City Halls and bike stores. Many are hopeful the King Street Cycle Track will help make Honolulu a more bike-friendly city.